What do you guys want? I'm a scaredy cat. And we're just carrying on. Pregnant. And pregnant. Is that true, honey? Yeah. So whenever we get some baby goats, uh, we'll bring you guys along. Do a little mocha ain't pregnant here. Should make a good... Should make a good looking baby goats. Yeah? What are you saying? Now you making noise? You want hay? We'll get your hay in a minute. We're gonna get him a little hay. I bought this shed five, six years ago for like 150 bucks. And uh, this worked well for keeping a small amount of hay. I mean, that's a good amount of hay, I think. Well, I got three, six, nine, twelve, thirty, fifty. I hold about 20 bales of hay. We have a little window. But we're gonna get to go with some hay. And we'll, we'll butts eat a lot. <clears throat> I keep all this keep all this hay string in the corner. <laughs> I have no idea. Well I fix the door with it. I did fix the door with it. It just has a little latch. It's pretty waterproof. We're gonna build a hay barn. Not sure where. In the bank here, we're gonna dig in. There's gonna be a half submerged greenhouse. It's gonna be one of our plans. Okay, we're also gonna buy uh, like a Quonset hut greenhouse. Yeah, there they are, they're all carrying on. We're gonna build a Quonset hut greenhouse <coughs> to uh, try this summer. It's about 250 bucks, 20 foot by 10 by six and a half. We can try to get stuff sprouted. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? It's hard to do this in one hand. <laughs> I got one of these gate latches here, or goat latches. They're skittish. This one's not too bad. She'll let me pet her. Yeah, they'll let me pet her with food. I'll grab the hay. I've been just sticking down to their house for now. We need to build them a trough. And my trick to get them to eat all this hay down is I'll get some goat mixture pellets and put in the hay, and I'll eat the hay in it. There's a little mocha. And my boy Blue, and he's still pretty skittish, but he's got his little rough coat on. Hi, right, Blue. But I just get it in here. I kind of just try to break this clumps up. Just so it's uh, poofed up. Kind of poof it up. Get all up under here in case it rains. Here's my honey bun. Here's my honey bun. Yeah. You're going to have you're gonna have some little baby goats this summer? This spring? Yeah, it's a phone. You gonna say hi to everybody on YouTube? Yeah. How about you, Belle? She's super skinny. She was hard to get from the people. Yeah. Honey, look at honey. <laughs> yeah, look at you. You got your little, you got your little goatee too. It's kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little nice scratch behind the ears and all that. What's nice about get to pet them, you know, I try to spend a lot of time with them, but she's super skittish, but she's pretty young and she's got some little pretty eyes and spots so hopefully she has some good looking kids and honey here too I believe blue is the dad blue over there so we'll see what we get hopefully they survive and everything because it's you know we did have a bad snap so hopefully we're back into our spring it's almost 60 degrees here blue skies rain tomorrow we got a lot of fencing to do up around here too for the garden. 
moving the chickens around to fertilize this area, but it's gonna be raised beds. And we gotta move dirt in there to fill this freaking holes. And these little guys are hanging up under here. Keeps the hay pretty dry. There's a pallet. There's a pallet right under here. Keep it up off the ground. I know, honey, right? You know, who's the honey? You gonna eat? You eat your food. My little moke moke. That's kind of my favorite right there, even though she doesn't. If I have feed, she'll be right over here, but they like to stay arm's length away. Honey, just now, <clears throat> within a couple weeks, she's been come pretty friendly. I mean, he spent hundreds of hours building them stuff. This is their house. As you can see, they kind of, <clears throat> they use it a lot. I wish they would not use it that much. But at least it kind of stays dry. It's kind of like a rabbit. Let me sweep it out. We need to get it sided eventually. <clears throat> and here, I'm going to have to add extensions on the porch roof. It'll be a foot or so. Because the rain will kind of come down on the side, on the side angle. <clears throat> she still likes to butt... She still head butts the other one. She wants to be kind of alpha. But these two have horns, and them two never got any. They got a hard noggin though. And then she was the runt. And she was the bully, so we took her. And we got the runt. And we got the two, one male. <clears throat> he's, he's skittish too, but. You gonna headbutt me? Yeah, you going head <laughs> Look at him, he's trying to... That's alright. As long as he don't like try to head headbutt me for real, then we won't. <laughs> he got his head stuck. Then we won't have a problem. <clears throat> so that's why I got uh, dwarf ones. They're a little more manageable. If you get the bigger ones and they go to headbutt you, I see people <laughs> have nightmares with that, but... Plenty of meat on them. And manageable size. <laughs> may blow yeah oh. <laughs> you don't know what to do huh <laughs> he's funny I like his coat though he's pretty got his shag going on for the winter that's nice <clears throat> hers kind of stayed the same and the other two pretty stayed the same he, he's got shaggy but I think they're I'm not 100% Montenegrin or uh, what's the other M1 uh, Nigerian dwarfs, maybe? I'm not sure. They're medium size, medium dog, you know. Good weight, probably, he's probably about 60 pounds or so. Maybe 70. I'm not sure about her, because she's, you know, she's pregnant. And she's got the waters going, so you definitely can tell. And same thing with that one there. She's, <laughs> the white one back there, super slow, just kind of waddles around. Hopefully I'm here to make sure the baby's all right and everything. Hopefully they don't have them in the brush pile or something. All right, Mokes. All right, my little Moke Moke. Blue's buried in the hay over there. But I figured I'd uh, you know, talk to you guys a little bit, get you guys showing around. It's got off work, do little chores. I know I haven't been around a little bit on the channel, but I got up respiratory infection and was not doing good and I had to finish that laundry room up to get the washer dryer in there so we could uh, wash dry clothes uh, all that's left on it is this little bit of trim work and then a little bit of filler and I'm gonna change the window so uh, it's a lot of big projects planned we are gonna buy a mini mini excavator off Amazon I've seen a uh, pretty decent not many people did reviews but I've seen a, a guy uh, Andrew I can't say his last name but he bought one and I've seen it do pretty good work for the price so I figure we'll get it for around here and we can do uh, some clearing. So I'll catch you guys later. Uh, do like and subscribe. And hopefully this weekend we can get out and do something if it's not pouring down rain or negative degrees and ice. Stay safe and uh, try to get a little bit ready for things to come. <laughs>